I snap my fingers and you see the power of being a pastor. We went from Harris Center on the St. Teresa campus to Haver Hall on the St. Sebastian campus. And the reason is because we are here at the food pantry. Our Lady of Mount Carmel Parish is very proud of this wonderful food pantry, which we're going to show you. Actually, we showed you last year, but it has been expanded since then because what we did was we took all the books out of the library that were here and we moved them over to the library now uh, at the St. Teresa campus. And uh, so that left us a lot of room here and we were able to expand the food pantry, which they had been wanting to do for some time because their, uh, uh, their number of clients has, has pretty much tripled over the last few years. So, uh, and it's a great service to the community and to the parish as well. So we're gonna go in here now and show you what has been done in this food pantry. It's really quite astonishing. So come on in. Okay, here we are now inside the food pantry. This is Mary Ann Wood, who's the, who's the boss and keeps things running here. But this used to be the library. It was all full of books. And now, you see, it's all full of groceries. And in fact, this is just a little part of it here because we can go through here. In fact, we, uh, we have this nice cozy little corner here, um, but we have uh, 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 more food products here. And then it just goes on and on because we have more products in here and lots of choices here. There's all kinds of pasta and jelly and peanut butter, cereal. I should have brought my shopping cart. So we have a lot of things here. We have tea, canned goods, lots of canned goods, canned vegetables, sauce. Look at the sauce. All kinds of things here, soup. It just, it goes on and on. And it, we have all this room because of having moved all the books out. So, uh, and then we come back into this room here. This is, more, this is more stuff, but this is where we enter pretty much. And uh, so you see all the stuff that's here. There is stuff that we'll be putting out. Tomorrow is the sorting day, is that right? Yeah. There's a lot of, uh, in, the, uh, in the garage next door, there is a lot of stuff, bags and bags of stuff. And on those two car tables, all go to Spark of Hope. Okay, oh, okay, and stuff okay. for Spark of every, Hope too. Yeah, every week we have usually that much. Okay. What we know they won't use or it's just expired goes to Spark of Hope. Okay. And, and, that, and the, the sorting that is done tomorrow, how many do you have people that I'll are coming? I'll have four tomorrow. Four tomorrow. And they sort all this stuff out? Yeah, and they, they put it in and sort it. And, and put it on the shelves. And it's all marked and dated so that, uh, so that it's all safe. And uh, it's a great service to the community. So uh, we're very proud of this. We're very proud of this. It is a great service. Uh, and it's also an opportunity for a number of people not only to get involved uh, as, as uh, you have your workers, but also uh, the people of this parish are extremely generous, aren't oh. they? In terms of what they right. provide, you know, what they give, uh, and it's it's constant. It's constant, yeah, and every uh, week. yeah, and that, that is a great thing. It just shows you know your generosity too. So thank you for that. So uh, that's uh, this exciting episode of the Shepherd's Voice. Thanks for listening, and on we merrily go.